In this Excel video, I will show you how to create your own custom Excel tabs. Let's get started. So here in Microsoft Excel, in all modern versions of the program, we have this layout with tabs. When you click on a tab, you get a ribbon that corresponds to that tab. And the ribbon is made up of groups and options and buttons that you can click to do many of the powerful things we can do in Microsoft Excel. Well, have you ever wished that you could create your own tab with its own ribbon and groups? Well, you can. To do this, we need to customize the ribbon. So I'm going to go here to the File tab, and I'll choose Options. And then I'll click on this button here, Customize Ribbon. And Excel shows me a list of popular commands, and I can click here to get all commands, not just the popular ones. And then here at the right, I have a list of the tabs that are currently in Excel. You can see that I have some deselected and others selected. Well, I'm going to create my own custom tab. I'll just click here on New Tab, and I'll now right-click on the name of the tab and rename it. I want to call this tab Quick Tools. So I just type that in, click OK, and I've got a new tab. Next, I can create a custom group. And by default, Excel gives me a new group, but it's blank, so I will rename it. In addition to right-clicking on it to rename it, you can also go down here and click Rename. I'll call this group Formatting. And if I want to, I can choose a symbol to go with that group. Click OK. And now I can create a second group. I'll rename this second group, and I'll call it Organizing Data. And I'll give it a symbol of its own. Click OK. And I think I'll make a third group, and I'll rename it to be Graphics. And I'll give it this symbol here. Click OK. At this point, let's click OK so that we can see that what we're doing is actually making a difference. You can see now, above the ribbon, I have a new tab called Quick Tools, and it does have groups, but you can't see those groups. Why? Because there are no tools or options added yet to the actual ribbon. But the work we're doing is making a difference so far. So now I want to get back into customizing the ribbon. This time though, instead of clicking on the File tab, I'm just going to right-click on Quick Tools and choose Customize the Ribbon. That gets me into the same set of options. Okay, so now that I'm back into the Customize Ribbon Excel options, I'm going to click on my formatting group that's completely blank at this point, and then I'll go here to the list of commands, in this case popular commands, and I'm going to add the formatting options and tools that I use most often. So for me, conditional formatting is definitely one of those, so I'll select it and click Add, and it's instantly added to my formatting group on my Quick Tools ribbon. I also use the Format Painter all the time. I'll add that. Fill color and font color are also pretty important to me. So I've added now four of the formatting options I use most often. Let's switch now to organizing data. I'm going to add custom sort, and this time instead of clicking the add button, I'm just going to click and drag and pull it underneath the group that I want it to be a part of. Now some of the other options I want to include in this group I don't see in the list here, so I'm going to switch from popular commands to all commands. And now every single option that could be added to this group on this custom ribbon I'm creating should be listed below. So here's one I want to add, the filter button, and I'll add sort A to Z, and that's probably good enough for me. Finally, I'll click on the graphics custom group, and I'm going to choose smart art, click and drag and put it there, smart art styles, I'll click add, 3D map, I'll add that as well, and insert picture, I'll add that as well. So again, all I'm doing here is collecting the options that I use most or that I want to have quick, easy access to. Even if it's something you don't use a lot, if it's very important to you and it doesn't already have a good place on one of the tabs and ribbons, why not create your own custom tab and ribbon with special groups that make sense to you? Now, if you change your mind about any of these items that you've added to your custom ribbon, just select it and then choose Remove, and it's gone out of your group, off your ribbon, and you can replace it with something you'll use more often or more effectively. So I'll click OK at this point, and now take a look at my fantastic Quick Tools tab and ribbon. How great is this? I can just click on a cell and instantly use these options that I use the most often or that are most important to me. One last thing I need to point out to you, if I right click on my new Quick Tools tab and click Customize the Ribbon, it takes me back to this same Customize Ribbon box, and I want to show you that you can click and drag to reorder your tabs in Excel. 
So I've clicked and dragged to move my custom tab to be the last tab above the ribbon. I click OK, and now it's moved over here. So I really love this option of creating my own custom tab and ribbon and setting up groups with all of the options and features that I want to include on that special ribbon. Having said that, it is very important to learn the standard Excel layout, where the tabs are, and what options you'll find on each ribbon and in each group. I think that's very important. Let's not just reinvent Excel by setting up all of our own custom tabs. But if you're thoughtful about how you set up your own custom tabs, this can be a very powerful option for you to help you use Excel more effectively and more efficiently. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that by clicking the Thanks button below the video, or by visiting my Patreon account, or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my fantastic $5 supporters. Thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. It means so much to me, and it really does enable me to continue making these educational tutorials. Thank you.